Hello, this is a Grotrin Steinbeck upright piano made in 1904, about 130 centimetres tall. Just come into stock. This is a brief video. I may try and make a longer one later on, but a bit behind with video. Sorry about that. Um, very impressed with the piano. As you can see, the casework is perfect. It's been restored fully in about the year 2000, I think, by the Piano Workshop in Rygate. Just having a quick look at the case. It's. I think that's probably faded rosewood if you're in the trade and know better than me then please let me know two music desks as you get on top quality german pianos we've said this before this one is very useful uh, if you want to be, be the height of a grand piano which i do so i that tall uh, that high up one's better and you've got bookmarks on there too the key tops are the only thing that you might say let it down they're obviously ivory and he's tried to preserve the ivories which obviously we try and do as well i think it's a candidate for possibly replacing them so that's an extra day's work or so um so if you want that done please let us know and we can certainly do that but they're not a disaster it's just you can see where they've been come off and been stuck back on um as we've mentioned before pedal height very low which is very encouraging plenty of leg room i haven't actually measured these but i can see if you look at that um, forex next to it that it's got plenty of legroom and very low pedals lower than the forex so extremely well designed piano and look at the e detail on it too that's very encouraging now looking at the inside the tuning pins are tight which is something we're always looking for obviously um, it's been well restrung and has a beautiful tone to it um, it's been restrung here sometimes the piano workshop um, i was chatting with them before they retired and uh uh, they will change the tuning pins without the strings, which is not a bad idea if the strings have, have a particularly special tone, uh, as Grotrian tend to have in the bass. But they have actually come very close to the original Grotrian tone in the bass. Which is very rich, and uh, the whole piano is what you'd expect a Grotrian to be. And sings beautifully in the mid treble. Uh, piano workshop with prolific restorers and i like this um instead of putting numbers on the keys you have to draw a very straight line across them like that um even if the keys have got their original numbers they're often st they have actually at the back so you could use the numbers but sometimes they're not stamped on as well as they might be they've actually written the numbers on the back too um but this is a good idea if you want to rapidly make sure you get the keys in the right place then you could just draw a diagonal line like that across them and uh, obviously you'll know if they're in the right place or the wrong place now looking down the bottom, the pedal trap mechanism seems to be well restored, put felts in here. Uh, everything's done very well as you'd expect it to be. And I don't know if you're uh, familiar with Grotrian stamps, but if you do know what that means, that's really useful. Maybe it was a Model 3, um, so it'd be great if you could let us know about that. And the oval shape on the soundboard, that's typical Grotrian. And uh, the bass string's well, very well done, and there's no cracks on the bridge or any problems with it. I see the Piano Workshop's got a number here, so I think I'll try and find out uh, what that number means in terms of uh, when they sold the piano or when they restored it. One of the major things we need to do is key weighting. This is 65 grams approximately, and it's not going down with that. That's middle C. Should be 52, uh, let's say 48 to 54, as we said before. And let's look at D it goes down with d let's see what the weight of that is now d is about 62 grams let's have a look at e and that's less than that and e is about 58 grams and uh measured with the pedal down by the way it's important to do that if you want to measure this on the piano and so they all vary that's heavier so really quite a lot of variety and generally need to come down in weight let's try a sharp uh, that's not going down at 58 grams so I won't be play I won't be making a worksheet. Well, we're making one at the moment. So just a bit behind. Sorry about that. So I'll just play the piano to get some idea of the sound of it. But I'm very impressed with the instrument.